I've created over 50 successful real estate YouTube channels to prove that it's not luck. And I'm gonna break down the five things that you need to apply if you wanna get started as a realtor on YouTube in order to see massive success. I've got my YouTube channel up here. I'm gonna give you the roadmap of the commonalities across every successful realtor YouTube channel that I've ever seen. So let's dive in. What's up guys? My name is Mike Sherrard with EXP. I train thousands of agents every year, delivered social media to skyrocket their production. And YouTube is my passion. I've helped so many agents and the disclaimer that I'm gonna give here is that I personally did not create these channels, but these are over 50 people that I've personally coached and they've followed my blueprint in order to see success. Now the caveat to that is the number is actually astronomically higher than that, well over a hundred, but I'm defining this as success in the essence of consistently generating leads from their YouTube channel. So a lot more people that have helped have generated one here, two there, but these are channels across all North America, Canada and the United States, even some in New Zealand, Australia, that are generating consistent leads. So YouTube is incredibly powerful. It's one of the best ways to generate leads. And the reason being is that it gives you massive leverage of your time. If you properly create a video and optimize it, it can essentially be door knocking or cold calling for you 24 seven, 365. And that starts to give you massive leverage of your time. And it's also a lot more fun because now you're getting clients coming directly to you. So yes, cold calling, door knocking, Facebook ads, Google ads all work, but you're kind of always on the chase, always on the hunt and always having to follow up and convert and spend time with drip campaigns, which is fine, it's necessary. But the beauty of YouTube is that people are usually coming to you and once they've made the conscious decision to come to you, they're already at the point where they like, know and trust you, they want to work with you and there's some sort of edification built into it as well because the general public think people on YouTube are something special, almost like a local celebrity, if you will. And the other best part is that it's free. You don't have to spend money. All that you do is have to spend time. You have to spend your time wisely and you have to apply the five principles I'm gonna walk you through right now. Okay, so the first one is unbelievably important. If you mess this up, you're basically guaranteed to fail when it comes to leveraging YouTube as a realtor. Every successful person that I've seen on YouTube as a realtor has become attached to the process, not the outcome. So what I'm referring to here is that anytime agents see my blueprint, they will come to me and say, well, Mike, if I follow this, how long will it take me to get a client? And if you ask that question, I know that you're basically guaranteed to fail. And the reason being is that that means you're essentially approaching this with an instant gratification mindset instead of a delayed gratification mindset. And so most agents are addicted to the outcome and the outcome is getting leads. What the ones that win are addicted to is the process. And what happens is they say, well, if this blueprint has been proven to work for all these other agents, if I follow it, consistently for long enough, at some point it will work out. It's guaranteed to work out if I just do my part, stay consistent, continue to improve over time. And so what happens is you have the agents that fail at YouTube that say, well, if I don't get a client in three months, it's not for me or six months or whatever. And then you have all the winners that say, I'm going to do this not for three, six or 12 months. I'm going to do this forever. And the further you can extend the time horizon for which you're expecting tangible results, the more guaranteed you are to win. Because if somebody goes into YouTube as a new agent or any agent and says, I'm going to do this for the next 10 years. Well, if you don't get a client in three months, you don't really care. Or even in the first year. Now, the beautiful part is that if you follow the right blueprint and if you want to drop a comment below and just say YouTube blueprint and I'll give it to you. But if you follow the right blueprint that's proven to work in all markets, it doesn't take you that long. But you need to go in with that perspective because it takes a different amount of time for everybody. And so if you could start to become addicted to the process, what you realize is that the goal is to just get better every video. The leads are a byproduct of getting better. But if you're so enthralled with just the lead aspect of it, and you're not focusing on the improvement of your communication skills, your ability to get better at delivering a clear, concise, credible, and compelling message, 
then you're gonna lose the point of it. So become addicted to the process of YouTube, not the outcome that it brings. The second thing that every agent that succeeds on YouTube has as a commonality is that they have found their niche and are putting out the right content. So one of the videos that I recently put out, which if you want to drop a comment below and say YouTube FAQ. And what this video is, is the 10 most common questions that I get asked about YouTube as a realtor. These are things like, how long should your videos be? How often should you post? What type of content should you post? What type of equipment should you use? I answer all of it in that FAQ video. But what you'll see, and one of the responses in terms of types of content, is that in order to identify your niche, you have to try it all. And you see a lot of agents, what they'll do is they'll look at somebody like Suman Kim, who I've featured on my channel three times now, and say, well, he crushed it with new construction home tours. And you wanna do that too. And that's fine. But what you don't realize is that in the beginning, Suman did also a relocation video about why he relocated to Austin, Texas. He also did videos about community tours. He also did videos about those property tours and his niche identified itself as property tours because they took off. Well, you've got on contrast to that, somebody like Peter Tulin living in Ottawa and he put out all kinds of videos and his niche was community tours or Adam Fife put all of those videos out and his niche was market reports. So it's really important for the first three, six months to put out a little bit of everything. And then after you've put out a critical amount of content, usually about 24 videos, your analytics are going to show you what your niche is because you're going to be able to see based on those first 24 videos of the hopefully three months is who's engaging the most with different types of content. And then you can double down. And once through data, not assumption, but once through data, you've identified what your niche is, go all in and double down on that style of content. Number three, obvious one, but one that so many people mess up is being consistent. So where I see agents go wrong is one of two things. Either A, they stick to just doing one video a week and that's kind of their cadence. Now, one video a week is better than no videos a week, but it's usually not enough to build massive momentum quickly. Just to give you some context, like think about the math of this, is that if somebody puts out one video a week and they're expecting a client in X amount of time, well, if you put out three videos a week, you're gonna get there three times as fast as long as you're approaching it with the goal of improving over time. So, so many people are putting up one video a week and wondering why they're not getting results, but you have to just do more. You have to get the repetitions in and you have to really commit to the process. Now, where other people go wrong is they get really excited about YouTube and they overcommit to it. And they say, I'm gonna start with three videos a week or five videos a week. And then they burn out after the first week or two, usually the first week, not even, sometimes three, four days um, or three, four videos. And so I encourage you to say, okay, I'm gonna start at least with one video a week for the first month. But after that, two seems to be the sweet spot. And I'm gonna to commit to two videos a week, every week going forward. And so it's really important to have this consistent cadence to your content and to always be improving with that because consistency is the king and that's gonna allow you to continue to scale but put out a critical amount of content in order to get the data you need to even analyze it to improve. Now, number four, before getting into number five, number five is bar none, the most important one. But number four, is always learning, studying, becoming a student of the game. And so what I'm referring to here is you see a lot of agents that want to leverage YouTube and they want to get full-time results from YouTube like the many people that have helped achieve. But they approach it with part-time effort. So they're putting in part-time effort, expecting full-time outcome and full-time results. And that simply just doesn't exist. And so what I see is agents that are dabbling in YouTube. They're putting out their two videos a week, but they're not intentional with it. They're not studying the platform. Like me, for example, when I'm eating lunch, dinner, or at the end of a long day, I don't go watch Netflix. I don't go watch TV. I study YouTube. I watch other people's content to say, what kind of intros do I like? What kind of outros do I like? How do I like their style? What about their thumbnails? How do those titles, why do they work so well? And I'm consciously, constantly being a student to the platform, always trying to learn little nuances that will help my content perform better. 
And that's a consistent theme across all people is that they've either A, followed my blueprint, the Social Agent Academy, which gives you exactly everything you need to do in sequential order in order to break a million dollars GCI in your first year for a very low investment, or they find something else. But all of them are students of the platform, students of the game. They're constantly re-watching their own videos saying, how can I improve that video? You know what, it actually sucked. Uh, I could have done this intro better. I could have done that better. And they're hard on themselves, but they're honest with themselves. And if you can constantly look at your own content and say, how can I improve and start to win here and do better there, after you put out enough content and you're improving every single time you record, it's inevitable that you're gonna become great. Now, number five, the most important one, is being authentic. Now, I know that sounds cliche or, you know, whatever, but it's so true. You see, when I got started on YouTube, I thought that you needed to have some sort of loud and over embellished personality on YouTube. And I wasn't being myself. Like if you go back and watch my own YouTube channel, you can go check it out and filter by oldest. You'll see that the videos were not me. Drastic difference between then and now. But if you meet me in person, now I'm exactly like I am in front of the camera. And so the moment that I transitioned from trying to be somebody that I'm not to just being authentically myself, my channel went from 167 subscribers to 3,000 and then 3,000 to 20,000 over the course of two years. But in the first year, I didn't grow. But it's because it wasn't me. And so you're gonna have a lot more fun creating content when you're being yourself. You're going to attract the right type of clients because you are behind the camera who you are in person. If you're not, when somebody meets you and there's a disconnect there, it's probably gonna lead to a bit of a rocky relationship and probably not the best transactions that you could have otherwise got if you were just being genuine. So if you're quirky, if you're fun, if you're playful, if you're introverted, it does not matter. Just be yourself. And if you be yourself like all the successful agents that have crushed it on YouTube, you're going to see an astronomical difference in the intimacy of how people connect with your content. Now, if you have any other questions, drop a comment below about YouTube. I will answer all of them. I highly encourage you to check out that FAQ video, but also if you want to see that video of Suman, who did over 5 million GCI in his first two and a half years for free as a new agent using YouTube, check out this next video. He walks through his entire content creation process, everything that he did to become one of the top agents in the entire industry using YouTube.